Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be telling you everything that's been added, changed and fixed in Minecraft Snapshot 24W20A. Another snapshot for Minecraft 1.21. So if you like Minecraft videos, like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft update videos in the future. And so we're back on snapshots on Wednesday. I actually missed the last few snapshots, but they didn't contain too much interesting things. And the things they did contain, I've already made other videos about in the past few weeks already. So so go check those out if you haven't done so already. And so there are two main changes in today's snapshot. And one of them has to do with witches, which is why we're here in the swamp. Because witches will now be able to drop between 4 and 8 redstone dust. And they say that this helps to improve the viability of farms that utilize witch huts to obtain redstone dust. And so this means you can now get 8 redstone dust from a singular witch. So previously, without looting, you could only get a maximum of 6 redstone dust from a single witch. But now it's been bumped up to 8. Let's see what we get from this witch. Here we got actually the 8 redstone already first try. That is amazing. So 8 redstone and we even got a stick as well. And again this time we got 5 redstone. Try again. 7 more redstone. You can see we got a lot of redstone from these witches now. And so if we spawn a few more in you can see that from the drops we're getting from the witch redstone is now by far the one we get the most of. We've already obtained over a stack of redstone from just those few witches. So that is amazing for redstone farms. Then they've also improved player attribute and effect handling. And so what this means is that you apply custom attributes using, for example, the attribute command. So attribute me, for example, max health. And we set the base to, for example, 40, which is twice the normal amount of hearts. So if we now go into survival mode, as you can see, we have 20 hearts instead of just the regular 10. So what they've changed is that the custom set base attributes are now kept when respawning. So if we set our spawn point here, and then if we were to die just like this, and we respawn, we now still have those 20 hearts. Whereas previously it would reset to your regular 10 hearts again, and the same thing works for all the attributes. And so they also said that active effects and modifiers are kept when changing dimension or winning the game by going into the end portal for the credits. So this just means that you will be able to keep these attributes for more events during your game, which is actually very, very great. You don't need to reapply those attributes every single time something happens in your game. Then they also say this change log, which is just updated credits, and they don't see what they changed to the credits, but apparently they've updated the credits to include more people that have worked on Minecraft recently. And then there's quite a big change to pistons, nothing to do with their functionality, but more to do with their sounds. So let's grab some pistons and let's activate them and especially listen to what they now sound like because what they say in the patch notes is that they updated the piston sounds to lower volume and attenuation and this was done to address the long received feedback on the old sounds being too harsh and loud creating very noisy redstone builds so this should be less noisy now let's take a listen and let's pull them back down That is actually very quiet. And so the same thing works with the sticky pistons. They are the exact same sounds. Actually pushing the button almost makes a louder noise than the pistons extending. I personally think those sounds are actually very nice and way better than the previous ones. Let's actually try spamming these pistons now. It's still a little bit louder, but it's actually bearable. Still turn them down and post a bit. But this is definitely an improvement over the previous sounds. Alright, and as for technical changes, the data pack version is now 44. And they've added some stuff there. If you want to read through the changes to the data pack version, then read through the patch notes linked in the description down below. And then they've also fixed 41 bugs. The oldest one being bug 6431. Status effects are lost when returning to the overworld from the exit end portal. So if you have potion effects, they will no longer be lost when you go through the end portal. And also armor attribute lists can be too long has been fixed. It's also quite an old bug. And there were lots of font changes as well. Some errors in the fonts of Minecraft that have been fixed. And there were some issues with the bugged mushrooms not correctly dropping as well. And quite an important bug. Entering the nether breaks the game. That has been fixed as well. But if you want to read through all the bug fixes, then I'll again leave the patch notes in the description down below for you to read through all of them yourself. But anyway, there we go. Those were the changes edition fixes of Minecraft 24W20A. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe.